Hey guys, and welcome to Simply Hike. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Berghaus Explorer 40 rucksack. So let's take a closer look now, shall we? So, what you'll notice, obviously, at the bottom here, you do have bottom access. So if I just undo that, so obviously you can get in and out the actual bag itself. Obviously, at the moment it is all separate, so you can obviously store your dirty boots or other bits of bobs down there, and obviously have your main compartment for something else. But what you will notice on the inside, there is a zip. And just by unzipping this, this is obviously a lot easier if you've got it lying down. But basically what that does, that gives you access to the bag itself. So now you've got from top straight down to bottom. So as I say, it's going to give you all access, which is to say a really nice trick to have. Obviously, as you'll notice as, as we kind of look around the bag, it's obviously covered in this ripstop material. So what that means is pretty much you could drag it to hell and back and the bag will survive. So even if you were to say tear the bag itself within five of those squares, that's, that tear, will, no matter what sort of pressure you put on it, it will stay within those five squares, which is always a nice touch. On the bottom as well, you've got two traditional loops at the bottom, which you can adjust as well, just using that pulley system on there. They're ideally used for your walking poles or your, you know, your ice climbing gear as well. And as I say, hooks at the bottom there, as well as hooking through the top there. Now, as we take a look at the midsection, you will notice the front pocket on here is a nice stretch pocket. So ideal, you know, for bits of bobs, jackets, you know, kind of your, your stowaway, your packable waterproofs, just in case. Or dare I say, depending on how big your uh, head is, you could probably get a nice helmet in there as well. Obviously, that does depend on what you've also, um, should we say, filled the main compartment of the bag with. On the sides as well, you do have the same stretch material, um, obviously for the side pockets there, which basically means it's gonna react nicely. If you put a water bottle or something in there, it's gonna hold it nice and firmly. What you will notice as well on the inside there, you do have a compression strap as well. So whatever you pop in there, once it's all fully up, pull that in and then basically that's gonna hold the bottom part in there. So that's gonna stop anything from rattling around on the inside. So as we go nearer the top, what you will notice straight off is rather than the actual main clips themselves being on the front traditionally down, they're actually to the side. So that's going to give you more availability to the wider pocket. Right, as we go into the inside, obviously it's got a nice traditional full stop on the top there, and then just a quick draw bottom on there as well. So you can get in and out nice and easily. And on the inside, it is pretty much a standard affair. So it's one main area, and then you've got the separate section there for your hydration bladder. You know, that hydration bladder can take one, two, three, you know, up to three, probably even four liters. And obviously it holds all brands like Camelback and obviously the Decline uh, Reservoirs as well. And as I say, that just comes out the side here and then leads obviously to the system uh, hook system on the back here for you. Um, what you will also notice on the top part, it does have a secure pocket as well. So you want to keep like your mobile phone, your keys, your wallets, pop them all in there, zip them up and hey presto, that's just going to keep them separate from the main bag. Now on the top here, because it is a traditional rucksack, you do have your other main storage area. This is obviously ideal for maybe spare batteries, a bit of Kendall mint cake, or even your waterproofs as well. It's quite uh, you know substantial in there. And then you do have this little clip system as well, just to keep something in there, you know, like your keys or something, stop them from rattling around. So the zip that up. You again, the top as well is covered in the ripstop material, and the main zip as well does have a storm flap just to keep it from the waterproof, you know, from the the weather as well. As we take a look at the back of the system what you will notice it does have a biofit now what that means is this actual back panel system here once you play along with this like loosen that up that is basically raising and lowering the actual sort of the top part of the rucksack so you can actually adjust the back accordingly to get it to fit your needs um, obviously when you're playing around with that make sure the rucksack itself is nice and full so then you're going to get a true fit but other than that you've got a nice traditional padding on the actual bag itself it's thinner at the top and it gets thicker in the bottom obviously to protect your lower back and these gap the gap system in the middle there just enables some cool air to come through the actual straps themselves, I like to call them nice and padded. Uh, they're thinner in areas and they are thicker in areas. So what that does is it means the actual strap itself is going to react to you, uh, to your shape of your body a lot quicker. So it's going to give you a much closer fit when it comes to wearing it on your shoulders. Obviously, you've got a nice traditional chest strap, which clips along here. Nice and simple, nice and small, nice and lightweight, but it does the job. You can adjust it accordingly as well. You've got a nice length on there. And then finally, you've got your two hip straps there. What you will notice, obviously, you do have nice storage pockets on the front there. Oh, let's just do that. 
They've got the same stretch material as well, so whatever you pop in there, you know, it will hold nice and securely. It does mean as well, if you're having to cram something in there, it just gives you the availability and the freedom to do so. And as I say, you've got the same on that as well. And then you've got your traditional clip system as well. Let me just pull those back there. So that just clips into there. Obviously, that's going to hold it securely, and then you adjust it accordingly by pulling the cords either side. So there we have it. This is a great rucksack from Burkhouse, and if you want any more information on it, please visit our website, simplyhike.co.uk.